But you do have to have bodyguards now, don't you? What is it about, you know, ordinary members of the public that you're worried about that they might oh, be these aren't ordinary so members angry of... that they'll then turn on you? No, these aren't ordinary members of the public. This is organised. You know, these are funded organisations, predominantly backed by the trade unions, who actually want to stop me speaking, which, if you think about it, isn't very democratic. And the steel band yesterday refused to carry on playing because they hadn't realised they'd been booked yeah. for a UK you know, event. And one of the people said that they didn't like the fact that you contradict where they come from. Well, that's absolute nonsense because we are the pro-Commonwealth party. We're the only party in Britain that says, cut our political links with the EU, let's have a trade relationship and let's re-embrace the Commonwealth. And I think partly because of that, the opinion polls out last weekend showed that we are now getting more black and ethnic minority voters yeah. going to turn out and vote UKIP tomorrow than the Lib Dems and Tories added up together. Mm. Um, so you're welcoming black and um, uh, ethnic minority uh, supporters, but what have you got against Romanians? Nothing, but I've got a problem with Romania. Very big problem with Romania. I've been there. There are three million people there in the Roma minority who are treated appallingly. Mm. They can't get jobs, they can't get housing, they live in the most extraordinary conditions, and they have fallen victim. Many of them have fallen victim to an organised crime gang network uh, of a very serious dimension. And all I'm saying is this. I'm saying, shouldn't we be able, at Dover, to stop known criminal gangs from entering Britain? Well, the common sense answer is yes, but as EU members, we can't do it. And what I said, you know, would people be concerned mm. if, a, if, if a group of Romanian men moved in next door? These were newspaper headlines run by our biggest tabloids week after week. That's what stirred up the hysteria, mm. not me. But you did say that, though. You did say you'd say be should... worried about living I didn't say, next door to say... Romanians. I didn't you wouldn't say... mind Germans, but if they were Romanians, you'd be worried I didn't say I would it. be worried, and I didn't say people should be worried. I said people would be worried because they've read all this stuff in the newspapers mm. and they've seen the crime statistics. Mm. Frankly, if we stopped criminal gangs coming in from Romania and other parts of the world, people wouldn't be concerned. Yeah, but you got in a muddle about the statistics, didn't you? Because in the advert that you took out, you said Romanians are responsible for 7% of crime across Europe. And that simply isn't true, well, is it? Romanians make up, according to the, the statistics, 7% of the criminal gangs, which doesn't yeah, make them responsible for that much of the crime. Well, actually, it, interestingly, if you delve down mm. into those Europol figures, and this is stunning, 90% of all card skimming operations across the whole of the European Union are done by Romanian and Bulgarian criminal gangs. So let's get this clear. But that's not an official statistic. Yes, is it, it is. Yes, it is. It is. I mean, it is astonishing. You know, the, the wall fell. Communism went, mm. and that was a good thing. And some of those countries made the transition to being Western democracies. Some of them have not yet made that transition. I want to trade with Romania. I want us to be open, to have good Romanians come to Britain. And, you know, we've got doctors, we've got lawyers, we've got people driving taxes. Mm. There are lots of Romanians here contributing, but we need to have the ability to stop the crime networks. But if you're